Welcome back, Enoch. Thank you, Lucifer. Thank you. Good to see the old fire still burning you in you. Otter, otter, dick. Next up is Arachiel. Look at that smug asshole. He'll we know what you did. He's got. You know what you did, Lucifer. Not to worry, though. He's no match for I'm pretty sure he thinks he did nothing wrong. He's like, no, it was fine. His body behind in the human world. You know who also thinks they aren't wrong, Lucifer? The Watchers. The I like how our opinions of him have changed so he much. Begins to doubt <laughs> oh, this, this has been my attitude yeah, throughout the entire the LP. I just had to hide it. <laughs> hide it because of spoiler reasons. And he returns to Earth. Fucking asshole. So this is the final stretch, final two chapters. He rushes to aid Ishtar in her battle against Ezekiel. I see. Are we ready for another change in scenery? Yeah. Oh, wow. Nana has transfigured into Ishtar. The free men are regaining their strength. And we have appeared to go to a world of geometry. Oh yes, this is Geometry Land. Hurry, Enoch. Be because we needed something that wasn't exactly Tron, but neither natural. <laughs> we cannot allow her to be dragged into the and Geometry is obviously the evil choice. Geometry she is pretty evil. To fulfill. Especially for platformers. Look, this is like a death trap. Hey. Yeah. We're looking for Arachiel. But I don't sense him here. That's because you have I'm no heart. Swine. Okay. Talk to you later. Look, look, look at him being all smug with his fancy see through shirt and everything. I know, right? So, welcome to Alien Geometry Land. <laughs> Oh, it's my favorite type of platforming. Oh, it, it gets worse. I mean, it, it, it's not, it's I not bad just, worse. I pretty much just hate platforming full stop. I think it's because I'm just bad at it, so like I don't enjoy it. No, well, that's why I'm here, to suffer for everyone. A very nicely synced introduction. Yeah. I want that. Yeah. So, the bad news is, I had enough for an ore boost and I was on Narum, but I completely forgot about it. <laughs> the good news is, I'll do it in, like, this set of videos, but yeah, you'll see what it is. The battles here are a bit faster than in the Armoros chapter. The Armoros chapter was just fighting yeah, body beat shields. Yeah, it really shields. was. They, I think they have less health here. Or I kill them faster, I don't know. One of the two. Also, these are like elite bastards. I like their little, like, floaty dots. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Kirby dots in our yeah, biblical it's like, adventure. it's a pretty cool little, e little effect. So one thing I don't get is why does Enoch fight in sandals? That is like super impractical. Somebody just needs to step on your toe. <laughs> and you'll never apply for him again. Also, the arch is pretty much the perfect weapon for this level. Yeah. Because you need to adjust your jumps quite a bit. I guess that's why they gave it to you right at the start. Yep. Yeah. What the? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's melodic see-through bridge. That's fine. 
Well, that's nice. Where could this be? <laughs> I'm actually trying to not clean it to see where it'll break. Okay. But yeah, that's Ishtar and Grandma fighting in the background. Yes. Why does everything have to be God's way? Oh, I don't know because he's God. <laughs> what is wrong with our evil? We'll choose our own future. This is very, very, very good looking. Yep. It kind of demonstrates two things. Uh, one, Ishtar is a fucking badass for managing to fight that long. Yeah. And, and two, Enoch is a fucking badass because he fights better than her. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, it was a scene transition and we didn't have a random arena battle. How about that? Nice. Wow, this really is evil geometry land. Told you. I mean, they had to knock it off the list. Might as well. Now, welcome to uh, evil geometry maze. I wish I was joking. So, oh! <laughs> so you get it. Oh, that's just cruel. Yep, you have to figure out. Not every side has a connecting elevator thingy, so you have to figure out which way to go. I love the last line. God, are you there? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> And these little bridges are kind of like just to reset your path. Good news is I don't spend more time here than I did with the 2D Nephilim rotating bridge at maze thing. <laughs> I still mess up a bit though. So yeah, this only has two sides. And it, it, it's not two way, it's one way. So if you figure out you've gone to a wrong place, you can't go back. This seems to be the wrong way. Yeah, no shit. Well, it's nice that they tell you. I'm a little too late, though. Don't worry, we'll get there eventually. Like, how do people get around this place? That's my biggest issue. I guess the watchers just summon them, just teleport them. Mm, probably. Oh, Pinocchio, you have to try again. Pinocchio's all like, fuck this convoluted shit. <laughs> Oh, we messed up again. I think? Yeah. I think after this I get it right. Because there's no other path left to take. We use them all we use them all up. Man, look at that floor, it just doesn't end. It's like cubes until the very end. It's like cubes forever. D 
this might be it. Yeah, it is. I like to imagine this is where watchers make those devil torture cubes like in that movie. <laughs> they just like put Freeman in there. So this is a bit awkward because you'd expect you have to jump at the very bottom of this. You don't, you have to jump before it reaches the bottom. Which goes against all platforming conventions ever. Hey. Gotta say, that Ishtar is really something. Of course, he's gonna be fine too. <laughs> God, God is like, yeah, yeah, look, how's Enoch? I don't care about this, sir. Oh god, just get through it. <laughs> I hate this part. This is like the only time they do this specific obstacle. This is the kind of thing that would have me quit the game. <laughs> I think like after you hear the spring sound at least like 10 times you get sick of it. It's just no I don't want to listen to it anymore. Yeah. Search the area well. But hey we have a Freeman hiding there. Who knows how he got there but yeah he is. What about Enoch's final chapter? That's yeah, it it's his game. And it's like, nope, Enoch took a 10 year break, nobody cares about him anymore. Oh, convenient arena. I mean, we haven't had one in a while. It's been like 10 whole minutes. So, I'm just gonna like demonstrate here. Uh, what the difference is fighting with a completely unpurified weapon. Uh, the weapon didn't break, despite the manual saying it does. Uh, but one thing that doesn't happen is you cannot steal uh, enemies' weapons sometimes, because they'll never enter a dizzy state. Okay. Also, you take a lot more damage. Yeah. Like seriously, these Gale guys will just realize me right now. Wow, you got your ass handed to you. <laughs> yeah, um, it happens a lot in this final stretch. Things hurt. So what's your favorite weapon so far? Hands down, it's the Gale. I love the Gale. It's just such a... It, you know, it's, it's not a weapon that I've seen something like anywhere else. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's definitely the most creative of one of the three. I like... Like, the art is essentially your standard sword weapon, but with a better design. Yeah. Uh, the guild they definitely needs to make a reappearance in some game. Absolutely. Don't 
So yeah, three knockouts when fighting with a non-purified weapon. No problem. Everything's fine. So essentially clean your weapons, kids. <laughs> That's fine, we found a free man. Another one. And that's the last one. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's now Brings up the question of if we remove all the watchers, then we kill Nana's best friend. Whose Nephilim is it? Well, I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, hey, look, it's an Arena. So, yeah, that left fight was completely optional and only there yeah. for the pre man. But, yeah, even like. With uh, the non-purified weapon, the fights are kind of slower than they used to be. Yeah. Or rather, faster. Well, like I say, like these fights are tough, but they're not meat sacks like armor of those guys. Yeah. Oh, finally! <laughs> yeah. A few juggles. Also, another thing, uh, you can actually adjust uh, the angle of the archer's super as you shoot it. So you can actually you can move it about left and right. Also, these fuckers block a lot. Man, you've started dying a lot. <laughs> I haven't died yet, I've only been knocked down. But you can see that the eyes are closer and closer to being completely closed. Essentially, my controller barely survived this chapter, because you have to mash like mad to survive after three uh, knockouts. Look at all those hearts, wow! And another encounter. There's gonna be a fun little glitch that made me panic for a moment, uh, where we just go out of bounds. I think it happens here. So we slide behind him and just end up out of bounds and stuck for a while. <laughs> like in that like split second I just thought oh shit I'm stuck I need to reset. But that's fine. We're just punching our worries away. <laughs> Do you have any idea how to solve this elaborate puzzle? Going quickly. <laughs> yes. Now that is like an extremely unfair argument. 
I know, right? That's like a Facebook argument. It really is. I am disappointed in you, Grandma. See, even this star is upset. What about your own children? At this very moment, they devour each other in their unbearable agony. I love them as well. Wow, such like a hand wavy. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> you love them. You use the word as an excuse for your actions. Your fanaticism blinds you. So yeah, in comparison, Serial wasn't that bad. Yeah, totally. I mean, he fathered, I don't know, probably 5,000 more Nephilim, but still not. I really like the way that that's kind of done, though. Yeah, it's, it's a very nice storytelling tool. 